<laughs> was that point two? No, he went back to point one. <laughs> Right in the middle of point two, he went back to point one, and we got to go back through point two again. No, but anyway, so so I, I kind of went by that. So opening remarks. Where am I? Let's see. Where are my opening? Oh, here's my opening remarks. <laughs> you know, it came on my heart. I, like I say, I wasn't th uh, thinking about teaching Sunday school to a preacher texted me yesterday and I had to, I had some stuff that had been stewing in my mind and in my heart and I just sat right down and scribbled a bunch of notes real quick I mean it, it came out quick yeah. so but uh, one thing the spirit told me is I'm, I need to look at all of y'all and tell you how much I love y'all we love, we love there's, you people, too. there's people in this church now, I'm not calling now, I'm not point that have reached, that have touched me in ways and been so gracious and, and mm -hmm. such a blessing to me. And you know, everybody, but they're special ones. And uh, I just thank God for that. Amen. And for this church. Because <coughs> without this church, I, w I would be in trouble. Yeah. We don't know about the rest yeah. of y'all, right. but, yeah. but I, I would. Because I'm, uh, I, my mom used to tell me, and my wife used to tell me, you're a leaky vessel. used to tell me I was a leaky vessel. <laughs> <laughs> and so I need feeling, I, uh, and, I, and I am a leaky vessel. Amen. And I have to be, fi I have to be, get, get it filled. Amen. And, and, Amen. and I get it filled here and, uh, Amen. and at home. But I open remarks. I, I probably am not going to get through everything, but I just want to—I just tell you a story here. Not too long back, I was in a uh, convenience store looking at something, and this lady walked up to me, and she looked like a holdover from the. She was like a middle-aged hippie. <laughs> you, you know, I'm a middle-aged flower child, and she she comes breezing up to me, you know, the scent of patchouli, you know, laughed, laughed over me. And, and, uh, and she just looked at me, she asked me, but she said, point blank, she said, uh, she said, if you could speak and everybody in the world would hear, hear you and listen to you, what would you say? <laughs> thinking, lady, I haven't had my coffee yet. You know? <laughs> I'm not going to get my coffee, okay? No, but so you know, off the top of my head, you know, I said, well, I would tell everybody to get right with God. Amen. Amen. You know that, that that that's that's what I would tell them. But I failed to go on and say the most important thing. We all do. We all need to get right with God. Amen. Yes. But the only way to do that is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Right? Amen. And that's the part people don't really like to hear for some reason. I don't understand that, but they do. So we do need to get right. Get right with God. And I wish I'd gone on to say that the only way to do that is through Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. He gives us the ways and the means and the power to become sons of God. Amen. And, uh, and, and another thing non-believers don't really understand, it's none of it is about us. It's all about him. Amen. It's Amen. not about my righteousness. I have none. I have Amen. no righteousness. Right. I have a, right. the, the righteousness of Christ which has been imputed Amen. to us by our God. And thank heavens, thank God yeah. for that. So God's love has provided a way for us to become reconciled <laughs> to him through his son, Jesus Christ. And uh, he created us to, to have fellowship <coughs> with him. Yes, he, he desires that fellowship with us. And, and, here again, another thing I've thought lately is, you know, 
although Lucifer and his band of angels were able to rebel against God and cast out of heaven. But I'll back up a minute. I was talking to Garg the other night, and I said it's interesting when you think that we're the only... I think, um, this is my word, me speaking, I think that we're the only part of creation that has free will. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. The planets, right. yeah. the science, yeah, the physics, right. all of it functions according to God's that's right. purpose that's and right. uh, yeah. within his will. That's right. Uh, mm -hmm. the other, I got I, some ants that have been coming into my coffee mess and the <laughs> They're little, I mean, they're not as big as a, as a coffee ground. Mm -hmm. There, there is, and I'm looking at that, I'm thinking, he had, that little thing has the mechanism, his le legs move, it has a brain, it has sense. If I put my finger down there, it turns and runs away. God did that. Amen. How can Amen. people not see that? Amen. Right. Uh, but uh, he, he did that for our pleasure. I, I think God created the universe for our pleasure. Amen. Yes. Right. Yeah. Amen. I, I, all the wonders of the universe. I, I think God did it for us, mm -hmm. for our our pleasure, mm -hmm. and for our edification, and for His glory. Amen. Amen. And when we fail to give Him that glory, you know, Saturday. What am I talking? Oh, what are we in? Corinthians chapter three. <laughs> <laughs> the. Uh, <coughs> The, uh, you know, Saturday and Sunday mornings, there's a lot of these nature shows. Have you noticed the pet shows and the nature show on TV? And I love to watch that, but I've gotten to where I don't even, I can't, I don't even like to watch that stuff because they never give God the glory. Right? Yeah, you're right. That's right. They're, they're discussing these wonders of the world and the wonders of stuff and never want, it's science. Yeah. It's, it's, it's science that figured it. Scientists and science have become our new religion and our priests, yeah. our new priests. Uh, so anyway, I wanted to say that. You know, he, he is, not only has he created this universe and this earth and, this, and the world for, for us and his glory, but he's further promised us a whole new creation Amen. a whole new creation a whole everything created a, again a new and this time without being tainted by sin Amen. so we don't even I mean if you love that you love you know and I do you know I, I love I love God's world that Amen. he's created I do I it, it, it just gives it humbles me and get and Amen. fills me with joy that's right and but imagine what the new one's going to be oh, like. Man. Right. Yeah. No, y'all. Yes. Yes. yes, come on. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm serious. So we have a good, bright hope. And I know I was telling Missy this morning, she said, I like him. You keep saying, he's going, well, I said, I tell you, sometimes my spirit, you know, is, is lagging, you know, lacking. And I know what it is. And, uh, and uh, but God, God gives us. The, the ways and the means and all through his son Jesus Christ uh, I want to go on and I, I uh, was talking to Gary again the other night I like to uh, uh, here lately I'm trying to memorize but the Bible not the whole Bible but verses and the one my, my one now is uh is over here in uh, Psalm 51 has nothing to do with this first Corinthians chapter three. Well, it does because it's all about God. And Amen. That was another joke in my family. Mm -hmm. What was church about that? Well, they talked a lot about God and Jesus. And stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we like to do that around here. Amen. Amen. 
<laughs> yeah, but this, y'all, this is my, this is my, my ver I claim this. I didn't write it. I claim this in my heart. Uh, Psalm 51, uh, verse 10 through 12. No, 10 through 13. And David, this is uh, when Nathan had come to David after his incident affair with Bathsheba. Right. And Nathan, if you read that account in the Bible, how David, well, I'd just kill that man, you know. No, well, it was you, dude. Uh -huh. You are the man. Well, this is the psalm that he wrote there. It had the heaviness on his heart. But in, in, in verse 10, he says, uh, Create in me a clean heart, Amen. O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Yeah. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore. Now, this, check this out. This, this came up. This, this is profound, right, to me, right here. Verse 12 and 13 says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, yes. and uphold me with thy free spirit. All right, look, this is 13 begins with a conditional, which is then. Okay? And he says, Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Wow. Boy, that just yeah. hit. I've, that's always yeah. been a favorite psalm of mine. Mm -hmm. But just the other day that hit me because without the joy of his salvation, we can't, mm -hmm. we, right. we can't right. teach yeah. transgressors that's his right. ways. Amen. And sinners mm -hmm. will not be restored unto him. That's right. right. So, yeah, so look, that's that's my prayer, constant prayer, restoring to me the joy of thy salvation. And do you remember when you got saved? Yeah. Everybody yeah. When, you, yeah. when you got saved. Boy, I was so happy, man. I ran up and down the road, praise God. I come to church, yeah. I go home, praise yeah. God. And I just it's like every day I wake up and I think, okay, God, what you got for me? You know, what yeah. what you got for me today? And uh, I have lost some of that, and I, I, I need, I want it back. You know, I want, and we need to keep that jo that joy of our salvation. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, you know, Corinthians, uh, Corinthians <laughs> chapter three. Is that what we're? Verse yeah. one. <laughs> verse three. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter three. <laughs> you know, well, we so overview of Corinthians so far to me. Paul is preaching to a a uh, a carnal church. Right. You know, they're 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 carnal, which means <laughs> fle worldly yes. flesh. Walking in the flesh and not in the in, in the spirit. Right. And what are some of the examples of that carnality that he specifically names? Well, we'll I'll get to it. Where are we in chapter? Chapter 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 three. Look, I'm going to read through this right quick, and then we'll go back and talk about it. Okay. <laughs> Paul, Paul says, <clears throat> and he's been talking about their carnality. And he, uh, in chapter 3, he says, And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto carnal, even as to unto babes in Christ. I have fed you with milk and not with meat, for hitherto you were not able to bear it, neither yet now are you able for ye are yet carnal for whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions are you not carnal and walk as men okay there's two there's three of them right there okay what is it what what envying divisions and strife uh, another thing I'm going to back up a minute 
reading the Bible, when I read the Bible and I prepare, and here lately, these lessons have been about the church. And I always, when I'm reading the Bible, I'm always, I mean, I'm examining myself in light of what I'm, right. my scripture that I'm reading. Yeah. And I'm right, I'm, I'm examining my church in the light of what I'm reading. And when, and I'll be honest, I'm not trying to blow smoke or anything. When I, when I examine our church, I find us hitting the mark pretty well. We can always, I mean, there's always room for improvement. I guess, I mean, I'm yes. satisfied. I, if there's envyings and strife and divisions, I, ha, I, I don't know anything about it. People don't come to me with stuff because I don't, they know I'm, they're, I'm not going to listen to it anyway. I'm not the one to come to to complain or talk about somebody. I'm not going to be drawn into that. So I don't know, but I don't see envyings and strife and divisions in our church. <clears throat> Obviously, there's going to be people that come and go who, you know, we're not the cut, their cup of tea, but as a church body, I think we're pretty strong. Praise God, yes. Aren't we? Yeah. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. I think we're on the right track. Yes. Beyond that, I think we're a dynamic church. Yes, and, uh, you know, I think when most people think about a dynamic church today, <clears throat> they think about, you know, the elevation, yeah. the Thousands. impact, mm -hmm. the church down here, the this, that, and the other. The reason I say I think we're a dynamic <laughs> church <clears throat> Look at what we've suffered. Yes. Look at what we've suffered. Look at what we're doing. We got a man that can't. We got this family here dealing. The miracles that have happened in this church. Huh? I said, look at the miracles that have happened. Miracles. Yes. But you know, the deaths we had. I mean, the people we've lost. I mean, I've never experienced anything like this in a church. Me neither. I don't know about y'all. But I've just never seen so many people come and go, and I haven't seen the the some of the suffering and some of the stuff that we that our members and that some of us have gone through. Yeah. That's dynamic because God is testing us with five. He's He's testing us, and He wouldn't even be fooling with us if we weren't on the right on the upper. On the right track. Amen. So our dynamic, I think we're a dynamic church because of the faith that we've had in Amen. spite yes. and Amen. because of the things that have happened Praise to God. us. So they can have the the you know the big rock, the band, and the mute and that. I would rather have the type of dynamic that we have, which is the Holy Spirit. So I don't compare us to this church in Carl. Yeah, when it's a, like dinner on the grounds day or some, you know, food is involved, we probably get kind of carnal. But he but he goes on. Here he says, for for ye are yet carnal. <laughs> For whereas there is among you envying and strife and divisions, are you not carnal and walk as men? <clears throat> For while one saith, I am of Paul, and another, I am of Apollos, are ye not carnal? Who then is Paul, and who is Apollos, but ministers by whom ye believed, even as the Lord gave to every man? I have planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the increase. So then neither is he that planteth anything, neither he that watereth, but God that giveth yes. the increase. Yes. Now he that planteth and he that watereth are one, and every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. Yes. Yes. For we are laborers together with God. Ye are God's husbandry, ye are God's building. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, 
and another buildeth thereon, but let every man take heed how he buildeth. I'm, I'm hope I have time to come back and talk about that. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. Wow. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, Amen. yet so as by fire. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Let no man deceive himself. If any man among you seemeth to be wise in this world, let him become a fool, that he may be wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And again, the Lord knoweth the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. Yes, amen. Therefore, let no man glory in men, for all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours, and ye are Christ, and Christ is God's. Yes. Amen. So, the carnality... Uh, The carnality of the of the Corinthian church. I don't know my history. I mean, I don't know, but they, they were they had the Greek influence. They were into the philosophy and all, and the which is the wisdom of men, and apparently they were infected by this in in the church because Paul, in by all of these chapters up till now, he keeps mentioning the wisdom of men is foolishness mm -hmm. and, the, and, and the wisdom of God. So, uh, then, and here's a trap that a lot, a lot of ministries have fallen into. <clears throat> when he talks about the, when he, when he, when the people were contending, well, I'm one of Paul's and I'm one of Apollos's and I'm one of Cephas's. The problem is when we start following earthly men instead of Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And that's what these people, that's what they were doing and that's what we are doing, that's what we do. That's what these that's why these churches are in trouble. Amen. Because they're following Amen. the charismatic yes. uh, uh, leader, and it's more about that than it is. I mean, I mean, right. Right. you're right, man. Uh, you know, not all of them, not all, but it's a trap to be avoided, and the churches need right. to hear this. It's a trap we need to avoid. We don't I mean, worship men. That's right. We don't. We 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 follow uh, Christ. Uh, so the wise and the foolish, and we see that every day. All I got to do is turn TV on. Yeah. And 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 we got people out there dispensing with you know the with telling how it's okay to feel and how it's not okay to feel and how to do. The, you know, and this, and just a bunch of foolishness. Yes, right? yes. That is just bombarded Amen. with it every day. Amen. And I don't know how to turn it off. I've turned it off. I don't know how to turn it off for me, but I don't know how to turn it off for people. And it bothers me that I that to think that people are sitting there listening yes. to this stuff. Right. The view and the yes. talk, and you got a bunch of these women out there telling you how you know, you know, and idolizing the latest rock star. It's just, it's mm -hmm. just we're in a, we're 
Amen. It's a mess. Amen. But I said this years ago when I taught a Sunday school, boy, I wonder why he ever picked me for that preacher I had. I taught the old ladies class. <laughs> I taught the old ladies class. They, they would sit there and, I mean, they'd be like, huh? But but my thing then was the church and the churches, so-called, that have set them up. We, in a way, we failed. God, God's, the true churches will not, will never fail. There's always a remnant of truth. We're one of them. And there's others, thank God, because I've met them at the sort of Lord Conference and yep. other places. We're not the only ones, but we're a remnant. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And there always will be and always has been <coughs> one. And always. thank God for that. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Yes. But the the, the 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 problem that I'm having these days and the problem that we have is we we've had it too easy in this country. That's right. Our, we we have not paid. We haven't had to pay a price for our faith. Yeah. I mean, you you may have. You may have lost friends. You may have lost a job. Yeah. You may have lost family members. You may have had so yeah. But I mean, as a nation, we haven't paid. We haven't really. We right. breezed through right. all of this. Yeah. And then because of that, we've got complacent yes. and we've perverted it, the word of yep. God. Amen. And we've done all this stuff. We've had it too. Listen, this country's going to, you know, yep. I'll pray for it, but we're, it's going to hell. Yes. It's going to be burned up along with the rest of it. Amen. There's no special deal on America. Right. Right. There's no special provision for America. If we don't, we don't get right. We're gonna, if we're gonna be burned up. We're gonna get burned up anyway. Exactly. The but what bothers me now most, and I have a burden on my heart for this, is our children. Yes. Yes. Our children. Yes. We have it's institutionalized child abuse. Yes. yes. Amen. Sanctioned by the government. Yes. Sanctioned by the school board. You know, whatever. And it's a sin and disgrace, yes, buddy. It there's going to be a price to be paid. Amen. There's a price going to be paid for that. Yes. So, however, and whatever we have to do, and I mean, thank God for Taryn. Yeah. Taryn, what you're doing is so important. Yes, I mean. and, and, and and God is moving with you, and I mm -hmm. thank and I just thank God for that. That's our children, man. I mean, our children. And the rest of these, you know, the rest of these people, listen, we've been given uh, what we need to know to go on. If you're, you know, if, 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 uh, this world, this country's lost and the people are lost, that's their, pro that's their problem. Right. But don't mess with my kids. Mm -hmm. I'm serious. Yeah. Don't mess with one yeah. of my kids. I'll kill you. Mm -hmm. I'll, I will. I'll hurt you. Yeah. And... Teaching three-year-olds about cross-dressing and transvestitism and all this kind of thing. Anyway, that's what we're yeah. dealing with. Yeah. But it's this is what's important right here. Amen. Mm -hmm. yes. It is. Yeah, this is where it starts. Right. This is God. This is what Jesus created Amen. for us. Uh, uh, boy, I'm going to breeze over this. But, you know, Christ, we know Christ is is the foundation. We start following men. We start idolizing men and leaders. That You know, we need to avoid that. Yes, uh, yes. He goes on when he talks about the foundation. The only foundation is Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what he's saying. Yes. It's not me. It's not I'm me or Paul. I mean, we didn't do. Right. Christ laid the foundation. Right. We build upon that. Amen, right. And be careful how you do it. Amen. Be careful how you build upon it. Yeah. 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 And 
But Christ is the foundation. He says, on this rock I build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And it won't. Christ is the living word. Uh, you know, I, I go, I'm going to quit going on Facebook. Every time I put something up on Facebook, it gives it, it starts some kind of fire out there. Yes. That's that wicked woman. Yeah. That wicked woman. That wicked woman. I leave her in there because y'all need to hear that stuff. But what you don't need to do is get drawn into it. I do not, I don't respond to her. But I want people to see that's who, that's what we're up against. That's the kind of people we're up against. Okay? And, but don't let, don't let people like that draw, don't be drawn into to that, to that stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, just do it. No, no. I mean, she typifies. I leave her there. She typifies this the, this generation. Yeah. Their faults. That yeah. they're they. You know, we're bad. They're good. Yeah. Yeah. They're evil. You know, Jesus said, "Seeing they can't, they will not see here, and they will not hear." Why did he give parables to where people couldn't under? Because you got the, it's got to be revealed by Him. The Holy Spirit has to reveal it. You ain't gonna figure it out for yourself. You're not gonna. You can't figure this out for yourself. I had a preacher, one got preacher, teaching when all this Methodism accepting the gay marriage and all came in, and you know he says, well, Jesus never condemned homosexuality. He did destroy Jesus. Uh, uh, I don't. The only sin I know that Jesus explicitly condemned was unbelief. That's right. Okay. Now the the lady caught in adultery. He sent her away and said, "Go and sin no more." Well, that wasn't her only sin. That's right. Okay. That wasn't her only sin. So, but he never condemned. Uh, specifically condemned homosexuality. So I says, well, he wrote the Bible. You don't know, don't you know that? He wrote the Bible. Jesus is the living word. If you think about words are so important. Words are so important because that's all, that's what God gave us. His word. And, right. and you know, if you think about what it means when somebody gives you his word, what does that mean? Well, one thing it means is it's, I, it's you can count on it. Okay? So God, he gave us his word. The written word. And his word. Amen. His promise that it's going to keep, he's going to keep yes. his word. He gave us his word. <clears throat> we got words, we people twist them words. We got now, we got artificial intelligence. Uh, shit. Listen, think about it. Who would ever come up? Yeah, dude, you, you have artificial intelligence. Yes. That's what I want to tell these people who are pushing artificial yeah, you're the poster boy for it. I mean, think about it. They yeah, give these names. Yeah. They're using it in schools now. Yes. Yes. I heard them talking about it on the news this morning. And, they're, and I don't know exactly how they're using it, but they're, that, that, these kids are going and they can ask questions and stuff. And, yeah. These things will answer. Well, this is an ungodly device. That's right. It's not going to give them any godly advice. No. It's not going to give them nothing but a bunch of damn, damnable heresies. That's it. Right. That's it. Then we got another one that's called virtual reality. You know what virtual means? It means almost, but not quite. It's not virtual. It's not real. Well, we know that virtual reality, but people are li the world is living in virtual yeah, reality. Right. Yeah. Because if you're not living in the, with the knowledge 
Amen. of Jesus Christ and God and the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you're living in virtual reality. Yeah. Yeah. All These right. people are coming up with yeah. this right. stuff and yeah. it describes yeah. them perfectly and they haven't got a clue. Yeah. They don't have a clue. Right. The, 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 uh, yeah, the global warming. Uh, global warming. You know, uh, it's 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 it's. It, I don't understand. I mean, Jesus said the love of money is the root of all evil. That's, That's the only thing I can figure that the that the evil that these men are doing right. is just right. is for money and That's power. It. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. That's it. There's not a help in they do anything. They don't care about that. But you know, you preach this to them. They don't want to hear it. But you, you know, Genesis eight. Yeah. Uh, God pretty much, you know, the amazing thing about this Bible, y'all, is He, God gave us everything we need to know. Amen. Everything we need to know in here. Everything. Not everything there is to know, That's right. but everything we need to know. Yeah. That's right. And some Amen. of the stuff we don't post to know it right now. Yeah. That's right. And they're trying to discover this stuff, and we're not supposed to be deep going there. Why do we want to send you to go build a colony on Mars? Yeah. Yeah. Why wouldn't you buy it? It's just out of curiosity. Yeah. But yeah, you're, they're spending billions of dollars it. of your yeah. tax fund money yeah, for it. a few scientists to have their curiosity, that's you know, satisfied. Yeah, that's it. But, you know, Genesis here, yeah. chapter 8, 22, God. God pretty much deals with the, the global warming here. He says, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. Well, it ain't going to happen until he says it. Until he says so. I'm getting mad now. I'm getting mad. I'm going to preach. I'm going to you know, we get out here to Second Peter, and he sums the whole deal up right here. Yeah. Uh, Second Peter three ten. You're right. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. It's going to happen. Yeah. But we're not causing it. No. No. There's something about that global warming that just speaks to me as the prime example of our ungodliness yeah. and our pride and arrogance. Yeah. It's because we assume that we can destroy what God has created. Oh, yeah. right. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Now, you may make it. We may make it a part of it where we're at, <laughs> unlivable. That's People right. have done that. I mean, sure. go, there's places in Africa that's unlivable. You can go out here and pollute the, uh, your creek in your backyard or whatever to make it, but it'll eventually, you leave it alone, it'll, 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 it'll fix itself. Yeah. But we're not going to destroy this earth. No. And no. it just no. goes all over me. It's everything now. Hey, Poverty in Africa, starving kid because it's because of global warming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, then we had uh, who was that idiot that ran for president, Democrat? Uh, Which one? <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the guy from Massachusetts. Al Gore. Al Gore. No, it was a squirrely dude up from. Uh, that does not narrow the field. He ran when Hillary was Bernie running. Sanders. Bernie, huh? Sanders. Bernie, Bernie Sanders. Sanders. Bernie Sanders. This is back during the Democratic debate. Back then, Bernie Sanders said that the reason for, that global warming was the reason for terrorism. <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah, he, he said it. Oh, yeah. on that. I mean, I'm thinking. Yes, and there's people that voted for yeah. him. All right. All right. Oh, I'm gonna end right here, right quick. Uh, but but talking about listen, talking about following, uh, talking about following earth, earthly 
charismatic leaders and stuff. And this just came upon me. Uh, uh, you know, <clears throat> Isaiah 53, you know, in the whole Bible, the Isaiah 53 is the only thing I've been able to find that gives any kind of worldly description of Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that could be considered worldly. Right. Well, listen. Uh, yeah, it, it, verse 3 says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. We hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. Um, it, ple it, pleased, it pleased the, the Lord to bruise him. There was nothing physically about Jesus that would draw, that would no. from no. up this high yeah. gather this. Right. There was nothing about him no. that would compel people no. to him. Okay, what is that? Yeah. He's just the opposite of yeah. the worldly charismatic. Oh, He's just the opposite of the worldly charismatic leader. Yeah. And uh, he, he, it, it almost paints him a picture that he was almost ugly. Yeah. And then, of course, he was disfigured beyond recognition yes. during his, cruci uh, his crucifixion and everything. <coughs> God did that. God yeah, let him fine. do that. Yeah. And Jesus did it willingly. Right. Y'all, we're bought with. I'm going to end on this. We're, we're bought with a price. That's thank right. you, Morris. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yes, sir. and listen, the world out here wants to beat you down. That wicked woman, some wicked woman wants to do. But listen, just tell, I was bought with a price. Amen. Amen. God bought Amen. me. He bought Amen. me. He paid for my salvation. Amen. Amen. He paid for me so I could become one of his children. Amen. And this world or what the established agenda is, or that, none of that can take that away from you. Right. And I just love it to where God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Yes. Yes. And I'm going to end on this. This, this, this right here, Amos, uh, Amos 8.11, God says, I'm going to send a famine in the land, and it's going to be a famine of hearing my word. Yeah, that's right. Okay? We're, we got it. We're there. We're there. It's in the churches. The churches ain't preaching the word. The world definitely ain't hearing the word. The kids yeah. in school aren't hearing because the Ten Commandments are bad. Although all our law is based on the Ten, all of our legal system is based on the Ten Commandments, but it's bad. Yes. Because it mentions God in there, and we don't want our kids to be exposed to anything like terrible as God. Or mm. Not being sarcastic. Uh, yes, so, did we cover Corinthians chapter 3? We always Y'all pray with me. Yeah. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank, thank you for your word, Lord. Yes. I thank you for this church. Yes. Thank you for our preacher, this man you would yes. call, man. Yes. Yes. And we just thank you for that, Lord. We just ask you, if when we if you see us moving astray, Lord, yes, Lord. bring us back yes. to the line. Yes. And <coughs> heal our hurt. Yes, yes. Heal our pain. Heal yes. our sickness, Lord. Do it. For your yes. glory. We'll yes. give you the glory yes, Father. Amen. Do, Lord. We're going to yes. give you the honor and the glory for it forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, it's got about 12 minutes, so ain't nothing left to say. He has said it all. Amen. 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 <laughs> 12 minutes, you're dismissed. What a blessing. <laughs> he said everything I've been wanting to say.